Just imagine, our immortal pilot Naosi and his faithful Cessna are teleporting this time to the smallest and closest planet to the Sun, Mercury. The moment they arrive, the Cessna begins an immediate parabolic fall. Mercury has no true atmosphere, only an ultra-thin exosphere, so flying here is like trying to row a boat through emptiness. The pressure is so negligible that the airplane's barometer wouldn't even twitch. For an engine that needs oxygen, it's like trying to drink from an empty glass. It stops instantly. The sun blazes nearly seven times brighter than on Earth. Even through the cockpit windows, a heavy dose of ultraviolet and cosmic radiation would start damaging Naosi's retinas within minutes. On the day side, Mercury's surface bakes at about 430 degrees Celsius, while the night side plunges to minus 180 degrees Celsius. In sunlight, the Cessna's aluminum skin would soften and warp. In the darkness, that same metal would become slightly more brittle. Mercury's gravity is about 38% of Earth's. From an altitude of 2,000 meters, the Cessna would follow a parabolic trajectory and hit the basalt surface after 33 seconds, reaching a vertical speed of about 430 kilometers per hour and traveling roughly 2 kilometers horizontally. On the sunlit side, the plane will crash like heated plastic, while on the dark side it will deform and crack on impact. There will be no sound. Around it is absolute vacuum. Conclusion Mercury is an extreme endurance test for both metal and nerves. Searing sunlight, night's cold as liquid nitrogen, and endless vacuum. Next stop, Jupiter.